Hello, everyone. This is Hilary DiPolo, and this is Art Scene, KUVO's monthly program on the visual arts. Today, it is my great pleasure to have with us Cecily Cullen from the Center for the Visual Arts on Santa Fe Drive, and you will be opening an exhibit this evening, and I would just like to welcome you, Cecily, to the program. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here, Hillary. That's great. So tell us a little bit about the Center for the Visual Arts, how long it's been on Santa Fe, and a little bit about its history. Sure. Um, The Center for Visual Art was established in 1990 by the Metropolitan State University's Art Department. And it was established as a way to bring more contemporary art and artists into Denver to give students an opportunity to interact directly with artists and be able to view the artwork in person. Now, is this an unusual thing for a university to have a freestanding art center for themselves? Yes, I think it is really unusual. A lot of universities do have galleries or museums, but primarily on campus. Mm -hmm. And so one thing that's really unique about the Center for Visual Art is that we are truly a bridge into the community. We offer the same opportunities to the community that we offer to students in that access. We're free and open to the public. All of our events are free. And so we're really bringing that access to artists into the community. That's wonderful. Now, when did you move to Santa Fe Drive? We moved in 2010, and that was a really great opportunity for the university to establish roots in the La Alma, Lincoln Park neighborhood and community. It also established a permanent home for the Center for Visual Art, which we had been renting space up until that point. Right, and so now the university owns the space, is that correct? Yes. That's terrific. So what is the focus of the exhibition that's opening tonight, Cecily? This is an exhibition of photo-based work by artists with roots in the Middle East. So some of the artists are living in the Middle East currently, and some are originally from Middle Eastern countries and living abroad in the U.S. or in Canada. Uh, And then specifically, the exhibition looks at the tension inherent in the presence or absence of an individual in a land, whether it's their native homeland or abroad. Um, How did you choose these artists? We have, I believe, 11 artists, oh, uh, 12 artists. 12 artists, um, okay. And the way they were selected for this particular exhibition, I decided to work collaboratively with two visiting faculty members to join me. One was Layla Armstrong, and she's a visiting professor in um, art history, theory, and criticism mm-hmm. with mm-hmm. a specialization in Islamic art. I see. So she brought in that expertise. And then the other co curator is Natasha Seidenek, and she's a visiting professor in photography. And as a photographer herself. So both of them brought in different aspects of an expertise that really helped build the exhibition. Um, But once we really settled on the theme of the exhibition being presence Mm -hmm. and what that means to have a presence in a photograph or conversely the absence, we all three of us brought suggestions for artists together and we looked at them as a team and worked on developing a cohesive exhibition that didn't have a lot of overlap, had different voices. The original idea for the exhibition came about two years ago when I was reflecting on my interest in an Iranian artist, Shirin Nishat, who works in photography and film and uh, specifically is focused on uh, gender roles Mm -hmm. in the Middle East primarily. And so with everything that's happening in the Middle East and how that's affecting countries around the world. I wanted to take a new look at how artists are interpreting their own status in their countries and abroad. Now, in this exhibition, Cecily, it seems that many of the artists are women. And when we think about the Middle East, you know, the common stereotype is that women are in the background. And here we have women in the foreground, really, in the making of this art. And I also think of photography as being very male-oriented, and here we have a lot of women doing this. Um, For this exhibition, we have eight female artists Mm -hmm. and four male. And it really wasn't intentional. Uh, We Mm -hmm. weren't looking to specifically focus on women artists. But I think given the theme that women have a different experience of being present in a place, um, whether abroad Mm -hmm. or in their homeland, and so that may come through more in their work. And so really we were looking more at our theme of presence. And then also another motif that is found and woven through a lot of the work is pattern. And 
pattern is uh, related both to um, the cultural heritage and the our, um, history, yes. but also um, comes through in the fabrics of, that women wear um, and in the home. And so mm-hmm. that may be why more women fit into the theme of the exhibition. Okay. Well, if you are just joining me right now, we are. this is Art Scene, and we are speaking with Cecily Cullen, who is the executive director of the Center for the Visual Arts on Santa Fe Drive. Now, you are having a series of wonderful events with this exhibition as well. Can you tell us a little bit about those? We are. We're thrilled to have some of the artists in attendance. So for the opening reception on Friday, Samira Yamin will be with us, and she's coming from Los Angeles. And she'll also be uh, taking over some of our social media. So that'll be fun to watch over the weekend as she explores Denver. And so that's a great opportunity to meet her and see her work and hear directly from the artists. And then next week, Lale Marin, an artist who lives in Denver, Mm -hmm. Iranian-American artist who's also a professor at the University of Denver, will be giving an artist talk on February 8th at 6 p.m. And then in March, we are thrilled to bring in visiting artist Golnar Adili. She'll be here March 29th and giving a public lecture at 5 p.m. That's wonderful. It is a real immersion experience that you're offering, not only the students, but the public here in Denver. And I congratulate you on that. And tell us again the address of the gallery. We are at 965 Santa Fe Drive in Denver, Okay. And uh, where can people find more information? Your website? Yes, absolutely. Our website has information about the exhibition, each of the artists, and all of the events. And that is msudenver.edu slash cva. All right. Got to remember all those initials. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. 